In this problem, we're asked to find the equation of a line that is perpendicular to the line x equals 4, and that contains the point 4, negative 5, and we're asked to write the equation in slope-intercept form. So first off, let's just give a, a visualization to this. x equals 4. We know that is the equation of a vertical line at x equals 4. So 1, 2, 3, 4. Again, this is just a sketch, so it's not important that it's to scale as long as you recognize this is a vertical line. And we want to know the equation of a line that is perpendicular to it that goes through the point 4, negative 5. So this is 4, negative 5. Now since x equals 4 is a vertical line, we know that a line that's perpendicular to it is going to be a horizontal line. So since the slope of the slope of the given line is undefined, we know that it's vertical and that the slope of the perpendicular line is going to be 0 because it's going to be a horizontal line. If you have a vertical line perpendicular to that is going to be horizontal. So we can use point slope form y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1 but since it's a horizontal line we, we, and we know the the slope itself is going to be 0 we know the right hand side is just going to end up being zeros, which we'll see when we substitute in here. y minus y1, that's negative 5, equals our slope, which is 0, times x minus 4. Well, 0 times x minus 4 is just 0. And then minus a negative becomes plus a positive, so y plus 5, subtract 5 from both sides. And we get y equals negative 5. Well, if you notice, that's just the y coordinate that we started with because if we simplify this in equation form, y minus y1 equals 0, because it's a, it's a horizontal line, times x minus x1. If we simplify that, we just get y equals y1. So anytime we have a vertical line, we're asked for the, the equation of a line that is perpendicular to that vertical line. We know it's going to be horizontal, so it's just going to be the y-coordinate of whatever point we're given.